everybody. I hope you got your coffee. I don't know about you, but I need it in the morning. Your Bibles, your journal, and whatever your supplies you need to do your journal page on or with. And we can get going. We're going to do Psalm 62 to the last section. And it's uh, on stand. Oh, here it is. And when I did the my journal page, this is what I did. Oh, I'm not doing so good there. There we go. And and I put at the top how to withstand evil. And I did my little study in my, my pages. And when I started out, it was Psalm 62 2. And that's what we've been studying the last uh, other three. And then this is the last one. And the verse says, He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. And I thought about moved. If I'm not going to be moved, the opposite would be to stand strong. So that's where I'm going with this. And it also gave me in, this, in the references on the side of my Bible, Psalms 55:22. Cast your burdens upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee. And it goes right along with last week's lesson. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Just like I said, it continues what we studied last week. God is our defense, and He is right there with us every step of our days he wants us to cast our cares upon him like we talked about last time and to stand strong so how do we stand strong and that's when I thought the whole armor of God and I have my page when I did it when I kept on studying, I thought about David and Goliath. David had to stand strong. He didn't stand strong in worldly might. He didn't have the armor of God in the way that people picture an armor. And the armor of God's not all this metal all over us it's God all over us so that's when I oh when I get my coloring pages from this from the Dollar Tree so that's when I thought about it and I went to Ephesians 6 say, um, chapter 6 verses 10 through 18 how to stand how to withstand evil is the title and in I strongly suggest you read Ephesians 6 10 through 18 because all these will make sense when you do your study and then um, here's the picture and at the top it says let's see if I got it okay be strong in the Lord. Believe. Remember, God is all powerful. There's nobody more powerful than God. God is all powerful. My devotional thing's going off. I thought I was going to. Yeah, whatever. Get done before that went off. So. Think about it. God created us. He created the universe and the world, the earth that we live in, and everything around us. He's all powerful. 
and then I have ooh, shield of faith. My faith is like God is standing there right behind me taking care of me. When I did my study, I did this. Because when I'm out and about, I don't have this look to me. This is just plain old ordinary me, but hopefully God glowing out all the time. I have God's word. Sometimes physically, but all the time in my heart because that's what's important. I try to memorize things and I read and I study and the goal is to have God's word here and to grow close, closer to him. All right, and then I have memorize. Believe in your heart. Believe what you've read in your heart. Bless, breastplate of righteousness. Jesus is my righteousness. My belt of truth. It's like Jesus' truth all wrapped around me. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? And feel strong. Loins girt about. Feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I'm ready to go with comfortable shoes so my feet won't get tired of going out and telling others. And that's what I figured was the important part of this on the standing. Standing strong doesn't mean we can do it on our own. We need all of this. And all of this is about God. And we need others who believe the same way we do so that they can help us. When we start to get weak, they can remind us of things. They can pray with one, with us. We can pray with one another. And that's it, standing strong. This is a short little one this week but I hope it was a memorable one. And I hope you draw yourself with your armor out there in the world. We need it. Well, I've really enjoyed this time together and I hope that you will come back and see me next time as well. Thank you for joining me. Have fun with your, uh, study and journal page. Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. Make your armor. Bye-bye, guys.